It has been revealed by Open Democracy that an elite club took £1,500 from property firms and then donated it to the Conservative Party. We're going to have a look at this more. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from Open Democracy with the headline that has been revealed that Elite Club took £1,500 from property firms and then donated them to the Conservative Party. The London property firm run by Henning Cole gave regular donations to the Carlton Club, which supports Conservative MPs. I don't know about you, but this smells and stinks of corruption, of people putting their hands in their pockets in order to take in order for more influence in government don't know about you but that's what I feel that like this is but let's read into it guys a dark money group that helps bankroll the Conservative Party has has in dark has in turn taken donations worth six figures from businesses linked to wealthy foreign nationals who are banned from making their own political donations ah so Instead of going directly into it, just going to go ooh, going around and under the table court schemes from the looks of it. Analysis by Open Democracy showed that the Carlton Club, an elite private members club in London that has long funded the Tories, has handed out more than £247,000 to the Conservative Party and its MPs since last election. But the Carlton Club had, has itself received well over half of that sum from two companies run by wealthy Swiss, German and Russian nationals who are not UK citizens. Under election law, only UK citizens are allowed to make political donations, but loopholes allow their money to be passed by a third party such as these. It is two years since an independent government advisory group, the Committee on Standards and Public Life, urged then Prime Minister Boris Johnson to close the loopholes, something he nor his successor have done. I wonder why, guys. So clearly, I mean, we already are aware of Russian money being pumped into the city of London, and the and my understanding is that they still haven't closed the loop closed the holes on that whatsoever, and we don't know why. Probably because they uh, like taking Russian money. Um, but the fact that that Boris Johnson was was advised to do this as well. And we know how uh, close Boris Johnson was to Lebedov, and the, and Lebedov obviously with R Russia and the former KGB. <coughs> so he wasn't going to do anything. He was never going to do anything, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Records show that one of London's biggest uh, property investment firms, Strandbrook Limited Edition, has given one thousand five hundred pounds to the Carlton Club and its political committee which hosts speeches and closes aligned with the Conservative Party since the last election. So basically the Carlton Club has basically become a feeder to <coughs> to foreigners and foreign foreign people, foreign national, foreign companies as a way of going straight into the hands of the Conservative Party. Uh, Strandbrook Limited only directors are tycoons Henning Cole and his daughter Joanna Cole, both are German nationals. While Henning Cole is also Swiss, according to the Sunday Times Rich List, Henning Cole and his family are worth an estimated £1.1 billion. Pounds. The company owns Shell Mech House, a Grade 2 listed building also on the Strand in central London that has bought £494 million. <coughs> Reports have also linked the cons to other prestigious addresses in the capital, including the House of Fraser Department store in, in Oxford Street and the London offices of Manchester United. You're just giving everything to foreign investors, guys. I'm not going to own anything. In 2018, Henning Cole was at the centre of a scandal in Germany after he allegedly made donations of 132,000 well, euros to the far right alternative Fjord Duskling AFD party. Documents filed for the company's house claim that Strandbrook Limited does not have any pers person with significant control. And aside, the statement saying there is a reason to believe there is no registrable person or registrable irrelevance a legal entity in relation to the company. But the company's own account showed that it is controlled by a German found foundation, Carter Skiffing, via companies registered in Luxembourg and Liechtenstein. Carter Skiffing does not uh, declare its ultimate ownership, but Henning Carl has been linked to a company in the British Virgin Islands with the name Cartina Kessington. 
We asked Henning Cole via the Cole Property Group in Germany if he was ultimately the beneficial owner of car to of Carter Stiefing, but did not respond. <sighs> this this is just not surprising. This stuff. Like and the thing is it's like how are you supposed to trace this kind of stuff anyway? It's it's so impossible to, to trace and prove these kind of things anyway. But it's good that Open Democracy have been doing some great work on this. But it's just a shame that um, that they're doing that, that Carlton Club are being used as a feeder, and other UK firms will put how many other UK firms are being used as potential feeders as well. The donations from Stradbrook Limited to the Carlton have been regular: fifty thousand in January 2020, 2022, and 2023. In turn, the club and its political committee have handed out thousands of pounds to the Conservative Party candidates, often in tr tranches of £5,000 or £15,000 at a time. They include donations to Lee Anderson, the Deputy Chair of the Party, and former Defence Minister Sarah, Sarah Atterton. Open Democracy has previously reported many top-tier Tory donors give exactly £50,000 a year as it is required uh, annual donation to get into the leader's group of million millionaire supporters who are re given regular access to ministers. The membership of the elite group is unknown after the party stopped uh, publishing a list. Yeah, I wonder why they stopped publishing the list. In 2021, the Carlton Club also received a £4,000 donation <coughs> from Relia EM Limited, a company run by elite uh, lobbyist Sergei Piskin. Piskin tried to donate the 2400 directly to the Conservatives in 2018, but the money was rejected. Officials said they were unable to prove that he was on the UK electoral register and labelled him as an impermissible donor. Before becoming a British citizen, he told Open Democracy that his donation was declined because I have a Russian passport. Yeah, it's a bit suspicious, if I'm honest. As a lobbyist, Pushkin offers his clients exclusive access to UK government ministers and has met with the likes of Boris Johnson, David Cameron, Theresa May and Liz Trust. <sighs> Retora EM Limited and Strandbooks Limited are the only two donors to the Carlton Club that have been registered with the Electoral Commission since last election. It has not publicly documented where the rest of the club's money come from. Of course they're not going to tell you where the money's come from. Of course they're not going to tell you. Election experts have long warned about loopholes that can be used to parties to get around the ban on foreign donations. The Carlton Club is an example of uncooperative association, a type of organisation that is not required to file accounts with companies' house. The Committee of Standards in Public Life, which was set up by the Tory government in 1994, has said that these groups could be used as a route for foreign money to influence UK elections. This 2021 reported. Regulating election finances says no transparency is required when these groups donate to individual MPs, and the people funding them are not required to permissible donors. The committee presents the, the government with 47 recommendations to reform electoral finance, including a, a clampdown on on in uncooperated associations. But two years on, none of the reforms have been implemented. George Haviland, a senior legal researcher at the Spotlight on Corruption, told Open Democracy, because unincorporated associations will avail of secrecy over donations, it can be used to conceal the identity of activities of donors and disguise vested interests. There is also a real risk that they can be used to channel foreign money and, proceed, and proceeds of crimes to political parties. They repeat a critical vulnerability to its profoundly damage to our health and our democracy. He added it's time for a serious discussion led by the Electoral Commission about prohibiting donations from unincorporated associations altogether to tackle this major loophole in the p party political finance. Yeah, because that money is going to be used, they're going to throw, like, these kind of parties are going to throw absolutely everything to gain influence and power within our government, guys, and Really, the first thought I would say from people is that is this is not surprising. Um, the Carlton Club is uh, clearly revealed from Open Democracy revealed here that they are being used as a feeder in order to channel money from foreign foreigners, foreign owners, and investors into the into the Conservative Party in order to gain influence. This is just it needs to stop. This money, this money uh, donations need to stop completely. It's damaging our, our democracy and our integrity, and it undermine it undermines our politicians. And rather than looking at our values, they're looking at the interests of others. And um, 
and is continuing to cause damage to, to the country. But what do you guys think? Are you surprised by this at all? Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Like, share and subscribe as always. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon. Thank <laughs> you.